here is something I'm trying out. I'm thinking about doing these story times where I just do a little video that's a computer story from usually my past uh, that uh, gives you a little more insight onto uh, who I am and how I got to where I am. And so I figure I'd start off at the beginning my first computer experiences. So back in the 80s, um, I lived in New York and my parents uh, got a computer. I think my grandmother gave it to us. And it was an IBM. I don't know what model, but it was it was a decent sized one, two uh, you know large floppy disk drives, and it did have an internal hard drive, which was pretty fancy for the time, I guess. It uh, had you know DOS, but it had a menu when you booted into it. It actually had a green screen with a menu, and it had a few programs installed on the hard drive. Um, just a simple DOS word processor. Um, what was the name of the program where you can make uh, little flyers and cards? Uh, Print Master had Print Master on it, and uh, and that was about it. There were a few other programs that that my dad used. I, I don't even remember what they were. Probably Office stuff. So every time you boot up the computer, it went straight to this menu, and theoretically you could just probably turn off the power of the machine. But my dad told me when you shut down the machine, uh, you want to exit out of whatever program you're in get back to the main menu, go down to the bottom option, which was exit, click exit, which would bring you to a DOS prompt. And at that point, I was to type exit, and then after hitting enter, then it was safe to shut down the machine. Well, I'm, and again, at this point, uh, I mean, I, I moved to Florida when I was 10, and I had the computer a few years before that, so I'd say I was somewhere between six and eight years old when I started messing with this. I uh, thought, hey, I could type exit, and something happened. Maybe if I typed other stuff, other things would happen. But I had no clue any any computer commands. You know, but I'm, I'm just a kid, you know, I don't know any big words, so I just start typing any words I know. So I'm just like, you know, dog, cat, which if, if I was on a Unix machine, that would have done something. And I do specifically remember that if I typed help, something would come up on the screen. If I typed delete, something would come up on the screen and uh, I probably type delete just because you know there's a key on the keyboard that says delete and if I type copy it would say instead of saying command not found those commands would do something I never did anything with those commands because I didn't know how to properly use them but uh, I bring the story up because it's something I tell people who say they don't they aren't good with the computers they don't know how to use computers is that you can't be afraid of a computer you know your computer is a device that is yours and you should be the master of it and don't worry about messing up the software because software can be fixed as long as you have your personal files backed up get in there click buttons type stuff don't worry about messing stuff up that's what I did I didn't really get very far in this story as a seven-year-old just typing random things in a, a, a shell but I was curious and I thought if I could just figure out these computers I see movies and people do crazy things if I could just figure it out, I could do some such cool things. And so that was basically the start of my life with computers. And it was just that that curiosity, that eagerness to to figure it out. Even though I had no clue what I was doing, there was no no internet or I didn't even have any books at the time on, on how to how it worked. Uh, but that didn't stop me from trying. It's like I just said, I know I can type exit and something happens. That means I can type other things and other things will happen. I just need to figure out what they are. And I encourage you to do the same thing with your computers and devices. So I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.